Hello everyone, my name is Giovanni with Haverford Township Free Library and welcome back to another Mythical Mondays Magical Menagerie. So today's theme that we are focusing on is Norse mythology. So a lot of you guys would be more familiar I'd say with Thor, Odin, Loki, things that you've seen through like, well Marvel is probably the biggest thing you can recognize, but if you've actually studied Norse mythology they play big parts in that as well, especially through history and rituals. But uh, we're not going to focus on the bigger parts of them today. What I wanted to focus on is actually uh, some of the other people that weren't focused, but not just people, giants. Uh, I wanted to focus on giants through Norse mythology because they actually played a pretty big part of like sh shaping things and interacting with everyone. But uh, I've always just liked giants as well. I've always found them to be fun creatures and always like they've. They've been shown differently through different types of mythology as well, just kind of like how sphinxes are and different creatures. Because you also have things like elves, uh, dwarves, uh, uh, gods, things like that through Norse mythology. But I figured we focus just on one thing today. So uh, the deck that we'll be showing off today is a bit of a Tamor colored deck. A uh, big part about it probably is uh, Serac right here. Uh, Serac gives flash to all of our creatures and they can't be countered. Or creature spells can't be countered, uh, but he he has flash. Creature spells can't be countered, and other creatures that we control have trample. So there's that, and then there's these guys right here, which are your bigger ones. But we'll run down the list really fast right after we talk about Ymir, actually. So if you're wondering who Ymir is, Ymir is actually the first being uh, through Norse mythology who is a giant who was created from the drops of water that forms from the ice of Niflheim when they uh, eventually met the heat of Muslim, uh, Muspeldheim, trying to get these words right. Uh, so uh, Ymir, who also goes by the name Argolmir, which I'm not sure if there's a different meaning for that, but we'll call him Ymir for the time being. And if you actually want to know what he looks like, uh, you can either Google him, or he kind of actually looks a little bit like the Frost Titan right here a bit. Uh, but so Ymir is the father of all giants as well. He made a male and a female uh, from under his arms. He produced a son that had uh, six heads. <laughs> and then uh, a cow by the name of Adamla was the one who nourished him uh, during all this. She had, uh, nur she nourished herself actually by licking salty rime covered stones, which she used to shape men, uh, like one in the name of Bertie, who became the grandfather of the great god Odin and all his brothers. Uh, then. So later throughout their history, and with some different things happening, the gods eventually kill Ymir, and they allow his body to create the earth, basically. They, uh, so they use his body to create the earth. Uh, they, what are, they use his blood for the seas, uh, mountains from his bones, stones from his teeth. This, basically, they used his entire body to make the plane of earth. So, uh, so I kind of think th it's an important thing to know, like the beginning of history like that, like where it all starts with the gods and things like that. Because usually even with Greek mythology and Roman mythology, it starts with titans. It starts with giants and bigger things than who eventually create the gods, but which the gods then destroy the titans. But that's a little bit of info right there. We'll quickly run down the uh, cards right here. You're running four birds of paradise for your colors and flying. Uh, three ground swells and stubborn niles for our pumps and our counters. We're running three gross bottles, uh, just because that's some extra land and some card draw, or a draw at least. We're running three bone crusher giants because damage, and he's also a giant. One fling, because if you're running anything big, you should be running a fling. We're running four udos, because he's just a really good giant to have on board. Gains life, draws card, land, pretty standard thing, but which, which we want right here. We're running four to more ascendancies, because pretty much every creature besides our birds of paradise that we put down, is going to be power four greater, so there's always drawing a card off these. And then they, them also having haste is just super fantastic. And then, like I said, it's you probably want to run four of Serac like this, but uh, he get, has flash, can't be countered, can't, creatures control can't be countered, which is great. And then other guys get trample. Uh, you are running two Frost Titans, two Primeval Titans, and two Inferno Titans, just because you I want some balance in the colors. Then you also have Mountains, Islands, Forest, four Fable Passages, four Steam Vents, Breeding Pools, and Stomping Grounds. Pretty easy to see how it all plays out with the creatures and things like that. But uh, that's. let me know if you guys have any improvements for it. Uh, that's all I have for today. If you want to leave a message, you can reach us here on our website, or you can leave a message on any of our social media accounts at Haverford Township Free Library.